A lot depends on whether they have insight and motivation. Um, there is tr mental health treatment for hoarding disorder. Um, it involves cognitive behavioral therapy, but the person has to have insight into their disorder, insight into the problem and the and this health and safety risk, and also be motivated and want want assistance with their problem. Surprise cleanups do not work. <laughs> um, we've seen it over and over again. Um, what we find is that uh, people will, will do surprise cleanups or do force cleanups to individuals who hoard, but they're not treating the real issue, the real underlying, the mental health piece. They're maybe just doing the aesthetics, you know, cleaning up the, the ugly mess or the, the, the squalor or the problem, but they're not really treating the core issue that created the hoarding. So what happens is, is that that uh, after a home is cleaned up, a lot of times, even if the person moves to a different location, they will begin the hoarding behaviors again. I think do um, remember that these are people, you know, with feelings, with emotions. Uh, they carry a lot of shame you know, um, uh, associated with their hoarding behaviors, and a lot of them are very isolative and recluse, reclusive. So just being really respectful and remembering that they are a person, you know. Um, I also think uh, a, one of the things to remember is that hoarding is a disorder, it's not a decision. So research shows that collaboration and a multidisciplinary approach to dealing with a person who hoards um, is the most successful. So I think really reaching out to the community, find out if there's a hoarding task force in your community.